where they'll enter. This is where the coin will be flipped. And after the drive starts, the winning play has been called. And the crowd has lost their voice. This is where the new kings of college football will become champions. ABC 7 News at 11 starts now with breaking news. And that breaking news out of Olney, where multiple townhomes were destroyed by a massive fire. We have live coverage from the scene where injuries are being reported. That's coming up in just a minute. We start tonight, though, on storm watch because dangerously cold temperatures are settling into our area for the weekend. And we are here now with Storm March 7 Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly. And Bill, this is no joke at this point. It's not. These numbers here right behind you, these are the actual air temperatures. These are not wind chill numbers, and these aren't forecasts. This right now, 15 in D.C., 14 in Leesburg. Wow. We've got seven in Warrington. Wow. It's down. I mean, guys, this, this is down there. When you look at this map, here are our wind gusts around the area. The wind still in many spots, not everywhere, but many spots gusting up to 25 miles per hour. And so that is creating a wind chill factor, a feels like factor, which is a very important number down to minus five in Gaithersburg right now. Three in D.C., zero in Leesburg, Frederick. Uh, we have minus five around Hagerstown. Wind chill advisory in effect, not just in our region. That's up until noon tomorrow, but it extends all the way to New England. We're talking almost 1,200 miles from south to north, and then you look at it from west to east, and it's same thing. It's a huge area that's dealing with this bitter cold air mass. We'll talk about the weekend, of course, and when this is going to change. It is in sight. That and more coming up in just minutes. Looking forward to that, Bill. Thank you. And to our north, millions now digging out from this massive wow. nor'easter as record-breaking cold temperatures move on in. Yeah, people had to be evacuated from their homes. There was flooding, all kinds of trouble. Lindsay Mass is joining us now with more. And some of the video we've been seeing is incredible. It absolutely is incredible. It almost looks like it's out of a Hollywood movie. Tonight, at least eight people are dead from weather related related incidents. People all over, they're trying to dig themselves out of the storm. For others, it's more than snow causing chaos. Flooding is still an issue. Some had to be rescued. There was like cars outside almost completely underwater. Um, and there was water coming in the back door. Even the National Guard is having to help rescue people. In Boston, officials say they recorded the highest tide ever. Jonathan? All right, Lindsay, thanks very much. Again, it's just tough to look at those pictures. For us, it wasn't that bad. What was bad is what happened at Dulles Airport. Tonight, hundreds of people are back where they belong, but they were stranded overnight because of that winter storm. They were on international flights bound for JFK. They were diverted as the East Coast was pummeled and shut down by that snowstorm. So most of those airlines, they don't even normally land at Dulles, so they didn't have staff here to offload luggage or help those passengers find lodging. Many of them had to sleep on the floor of the terminal. We didn't have anywhere to go. No one, like, our airport just ditched us. They offered us pretzels and biscuits. We don't want pretzels and biscuits. We want our luggage, and I want to know where I'm, how I'm getting to JFK. Well, this afternoon, all of those passengers were bussed up to JFK. Their luggage won't be catching up for them or with them for another day or two. But you can find out the forecast for your neighborhood anytime you want. Download the Stormwatch 7 app right to your phone or your pad. And now back to that breaking news we were telling you about before in Montgomery County, where multiple townhomes were destroyed, and we are hearing reports of people hurt as well. Tim Barber joins us live with the very latest out of Olney. Tim, what can you tell us? More than 100 firefighters rush to this scene. Their fire trucks are lining the road here. But I want to give you the best look at this fire right here. If you look right past this fence here, you'll see the back where the fire just tore through the back decks here. This, this fire is still smoking right in the middle here. The fire started in the middle of the townhomes and then spread. There are five townhomes here. Two dozen people are displaced. Three people were injured, two of them firefighters. One was a resident here. The good news, they are expected to be okay. The people who are displaced are with the Red Cross tonight. The Red Cross is finding them a place to sleep tonight. But again, five townhomes caught fire here. And uh, the Red Cross is helping them because they are all homeless tonight. The good news, no major injuries out here, just minor ones. Reporting live in Montgomery County, Tim Barber, ABC 7 News. Tim, thanks very much. And only on 7, an aide at a Montgomery County school arrested. The charges against Sean Kelly are troubling, including possession of child pornography. 
Now, Kelly has been on the radar of the 7 on your side I team for quite some time now. In fact, Nathan Baca joining us live from the newsroom with more on this story. Nathan, you told us about this a while back. We did. Now, Jonathan, we first alerted Montgomery County Schools and Maryland State Police about a video that Cloverly Elementary aide posted on YouTube denying allegations he touched someone inappropriately. That was in October, and tonight we've learned Sean Kelly was arrested today. The principal of Cloverly Elementary School wrote to parents Friday night saying Sean Kelly is charged with possessing and distributing child pornography. Kelly was also a former daycare employee at Cannon Road Elementary. Maryland State Police do not believe any photographs are of Montgomery County students. Kelly reviewed children's television shows on YouTube. This is the voice of Kelly from a video he posted in October. Several weeks ago, attacks were made on me and my character, and I learned people had violated the sanctity of my home, including my computer and even my car, in order to do hateful and harmful things towards me. It's gotten to a point where it seems like a large chunk of the rest of the world just hates me right now. And to be clear, this isn't about me talking about sensitive issues with anyone or whether I touch someone or not or helping someone deal with a sensitive thing they were dealing with that was big. Cloverly Elementary School will have psychologists and counselors on campus Monday. Attempts to reach Kelly for comment after he posted his October video went unanswered. Jonathan. All right, Nathan, thanks very much. I should also let you know Kelly's arrest comes as a former teacher from Cloverly Elementary serves a 48-year sentence after he was convicted on child sex abuse charges. John Vignan was found guilty of abusing four young girls at the school. Vigna taught at the school for more than 20 years before the abuse came to light. And in Loudoun County, a gymnastics coach accused of sexual assault. Police say the victim was a juvenile and that they say it happened during an open gym event at Gymnastics Studio in Ashburn. Now, anyone with information about when should call police. New at 11, a substitute teacher and coach.